Okay, I'm just going to say it. If you are using Flowdesk and not taking advantage of these five features, you are seriously missing out. Today, I'm going to show you some of my favorite features in Flowdesk that are making it such a powerful tool and also just one of the most beautiful email marketing platforms. So let's dive in. Hey friends, I'm Becca with Rebecca Recreative and I help purpose-driven entrepreneurs just like you uh, create high converting websites and help dip them figure out simple and effective marketing systems so that they can skip the Instagram rat race. Um, today we're gonna dive into Flowdesk and this was one of the first business investments I ever made in my business. I made it over six years ago and I have not looked back. It's a phenomenal email marketing platform. I have done so many blogs and YouTube tutorials. I'll link some of them below. Um, I want you to know I'm also partnering with them. So if you want to get 50% off your first year, as well as a 14 day trial, use that link below and you can test it out. So this is a game changer for segmenting your audience and making them not annoyed with you. Um, so there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, at the bottom, you'll see that you have this little message where people can unsubscribe. Of course you want to have that, but it also says that they can manage preferences. So how do you edit that to make it a little bit more custom to you? You go um, into, let me go back a little bit, um, into your account. So up here is where your icon usually be. You'll click on that. You'll go to opt-in settings. And then down here, you'll go to preferences page. So this is where, for me, I talk a lot about two different website platforms. Well, people usually don't use both platforms. So I want to give them that option. Um, and then they also can get the option of not getting any product launches from me. And then I have to make sure that when you click on that, it's blog only. So if I have a product launch, I need to make sure to use that little segment blog only and put it on the exclude for people um, or of course all email so that's one way of doing it another way of doing it that i love is if i just if i don't necessarily want to link to a specific freebie i just want to link them to my email so i can get on my email list i can link this page and um you can see what it looks like on mobile which generally if i'm linking from instagram that's what it looks like and you can do what what interests them so same type of thing here um, and you share it and you can get that link. Okay, number two is the branding. Something that makes Flowdesk so unique and amazing is how beautiful their emails are, which you might feel like, does that really matter? Is that going to affect my deliverability? I have not found it to affect my deliverability at all. I also think it's really interesting to look at some of the people who are big into the email marketing game, like Amy Porterfield, um, who used to just send out her weekly podcasts every single week. It's worked for her for the past, she's had her business for what, 12 years. And just now in 2025, she's switching to a more personal email. That is what people want to see. They want that personality. How do we do this? Well, one, adding photos of especially you smiling, looking at the camera. Those are always going to help. Um, having email. And so I really try to make my emails look good. Um, you know, and use my branding. So the easy way to do the branding, you click on your name, go to branding. You can have all your brand colors, which I love because sometimes some platforms will limit how many you can have. Um, you can have your brand fonts, upload those. Um, and it's all just right there. So as you are editing your emails, you can just easily pull in the colors that you need. Okay. Feature number three, as an entrepreneur who works 15 to 20 hours a week. I want to work smarter and not harder. So this has been a game changer. When I create an email that I'm like, oh, I love this format, which this one's nothing pretty, but you can click save to favorites, name it, put the description. I don't really want to save this one if I'm being honest with you guys. Um, but then when you create a new email or let's say you're creating a workflow. So I'll edit my welcome sequence really quick so you can kind of see what this looks like you can pull in that email template that you've already created. So we come here, we would go new email. Um, you could duplicate an existing as well, which works the same. Um, but if you go create new email, you can go to my favorites. And there you see like the emails. And a lot of times, maybe they're not like the prettiest, but they are the emails that have converted really well for me or whatever. So definitely take advantage of that feature. If you are still using a link in bio, it is time to graduate. Um, one of these three options are going to be far better than that. Uh, first of all, with Instagram, you can just link things. So that's one option. Um, another option is to create an Instagram links on your website, which is my personal favorite as a website designer because it's getting traffic to your website. Um, but if that's like too complicated for you, create it on Flowdesk. It looks great and it's super easy. You can make it branded and you can have a feature, you know, your latest blog post or your courses um, or maybe getting on your email list. 
you can tell more about you. It's so easy to create. And so do one of those options. Definitely update your link in bio to be branded. Finally, fifth favorite is link action. This allows you to tag subscribers or get them into a specific automation secretly and silently by just having them click a specific link in your email. So you can see here, um, I was sending out a ton of promotional emails about a course. And I, if they aren't someone who's interested in becoming a website designer, I wanted them to be able to get out of that email sequence. So right at the top, I put that, or sometimes I also put it at the bottom, um, which might feel weird, but you don't want to bombard people with things they don't want, or they're just going to hop off. So I have a whole tutorial um, linked below about how to do these link actions. Side note, this is something I was asking Flowdesk to create for a long time. And one of the things I love about Flowdesk is they are female founded. They have an amazing team who is working hard to consistently improve the platform. And so although it's newer compared to some of the other, you know, MailChimp and older platforms, it's very great at consistently evolving to become a better platform for you. So those are my top five Flowdesk features that you might not be using yet. Remember that if you wanna get 50% off your first year and a 14 day free trial, use the link below. Honestly, one of the best business decisions I made for my business was to invest in email marketing and to use Flowdesk. So 10 out of 10 recommend. Also, I know it's 2025 and we're not supposed to say subscribe to my channel anymore, but if you like email marketing um, tutorials, website tips, and marketing strategies that actually make running your business easier without the burnout, you know what to do.